Good morning, you guys. It's uh, bright and early, and I was editing this video, and I just wanted to pop in, first of all, on the front end to say that it's been probably a couple weeks since I started filming this video, and this video spans a couple of weeks. So there's a lot of outfit changes and just kind of jumping around here and there been kind of difficult lately trying to get my filming in with everything else that I'm trying to do um, but I'm, I'm I'm hoping to get back on my regular routine ish but uh, I just wanted to let you know before you saw this video if you're wondering why it's all over the place that's why I didn't wake up this morning and think well I want to spend three hundred and fifty dollars in less than an hour but here we are you guys know groceries are expensive right now I used to pay, what, seven bucks for a package of chicken breasts? Two sixty nine for these. They're now six forty nine. I mean, it's just some ham on sale for nine dollars. It's just just one round of ham. It's crazy. A pound of roast beef, eleven bucks. I don't know how expensive roast beef used to be, but I just know these prices are insane. I did get some discounts, 39 cents a pound on my bananas instead of 70 cents a pound. You know, just craziness. <laughs> this was my favorite. These Taco Bell dinner kits used to be $1.29. They are $5.49 now. Insane. Insane. Something that I thought was pretty cool, though, is when I was looking for mushrooms for our uh, steak and cheese sandwiches. What do you call those things? Anyway, um, they had chanterelles there and morels. That was pretty cool. The morels I know are typically on the market. I haven't seen them at our store before, but the chanterelles, that's not something you see every day. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm not sure that I would trust it 100% because those, you can't just like reproduce growing those. That's something you have to go out and actually search for. They have a certain relationship with trees that you can't recreate. So I'm not sure that I would actually trust them. So I did buy the big thing of chicken wings, chicken wings, <laughs> chicken breasts. Um, and I'm going to slice them thinner because I don't like eating these big old fat things. And you can get more, more meals out of them if you slice them up. Some of these I'll turn into chicken strips. Some of them I'll slice thinner um, again because I, I just don't like thick stuff. I got an English cucumber or a seedless cucumber in here. I'm going to slice this up and try making a creamy cucumber salad. What else did I get in here? Here's the mushrooms and stuff. That's going to go in our steak and cheese sandwiches. I can't remember what exactly it's called. I think it's steak and cheese. I don't know. Um, I got some dill to go in the cucumber salad. What else did I get? Oh, I did find some active yeast. because I want to try making my own bread. I placed my first azure standard order and i've got some yeast coming but it's not till october i also have some sourdough starter coming but again not till october i had to get some olive oil i've never tried this kind before but the regular store brand small bottles of olive oil were 9.99 and this was a big bottle for 7.49 so we're gonna give that a try did i show you guys my other sick chicken it's Miss Amber. She's been sick for several days. I haven't quite figured out what's wrong with her. I don't remember if I put this in another video, so forgive me if I have, but she's standing. But that's about it. Buddy, my other chicken that was in here that had the eye infection. I hope I put the pictures in like I said I was going to. He's feeling much better. He's back out in the coop with everyone. Um, I tried to keep him separated from the rest of the flock, but he wanted to be with his friends and he's doing okay out there. So that's good. I also bought a piece of ginger root. It was pretty cheap to just get this piece of it. And I'm going to try breaking it up and planting it out in the garden because I'd really like to have this growing out there. We'll see if it works. I've heard that it works. So here's hoping. Okay. So I went ahead and sucker as a chicken. I've got some chunks here for, I don't know, like pot pies or whatever. Some larger chunks here for um, fried chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, yeah. 
um, that I went ahead and seasoned with the seasons I like to use. I left this plain. And then I sliced my chicken breast into thinner breasts. I got two packages of that. I've got one that's got four big ones and one that's got six smaller ones. Don't look at all this frozen food. This, I, listen, okay? Sometimes you don't feel like cooking. I don't really eat a whole lot of that, but my boyfriend does. And then in here, I've got chicken strips that I have seasoned up that I'll be using in my chicken alfredo. And is that it? <laughs> That's it so far. I was gonna talk to you guys while I did all of that, but I had a little neighbor visiting, so I didn't turn on the camera while he was here. Um, now I think I'm gonna chop up that, yeah, that English cucumber and look up a recipe for the cucumber salad that I want to try. And um, we'll get that going. These little chicken bits here that I'm not going to eat. Those are going to go to my chickens. Don't come at me. Chickens eat other chicken. So the recipe that I found for this seems fairly easy. It's the uh, seedless cucumbers and um, some vinegar, some dill, some sugar. And I don't remember if it was sour cream or mayonnaise or both. It may be both. Some recipes I found only called for one, some called for both. They have both of those ingredients. So, all right, so I'm gonna start slicing this and I like, my cucumbers a little thin. Some people like them a little thick, so I'll, I'll do a good mixture. And I haven't had cucumber salad since I was a teenager. It is, it's officially fall here, you guys. Like, calendar-wise, it's officially fall, but the last few days has been very rainy, overcast, and cold. I was freezing this morning. Now it's just nice out there. It's still overcast and everything's a little wet, but it's a nice change from the sweltering heat, to be sure. Um, I still have to get all of the new plant starts, um, the cabbages, Brussels sprouts, um, cauliflower and broccoli starts that I bought last week. I still need to get most of those in the ground. We've got vinegar, sour cream and mayonnaise, fresh dill, salt, and sugar. Here's my mixture. I added a little extra sugar because I like mine to be a little sweeter. This looks beautiful. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Now it goes in the fridge for an hour. Right, so I've got to find somewhere to put this in the fridge. As you guys saw, my fridge is very full right now <laughs> after the grocery shopping. Um, I guess some of that meat can go ahead and go in the freezer since I'm not going to be using it tonight. And clean up my mess, and then I'd like to take a shower, and there's still a lot of things I need to do. Come on, guys. I'm at work today. I'm in our new van, our brand new van. You guys, I was so excited to hear my favorite YouTuber, Jessica Sowards of Roots and Refuge Farm, speak on the topic of this new age of AI created content. Just picked up myself some new gloves and we'll be doing some work cleaning out the chicken coop and refreshing it. Last time I used anything with a handle, I got so many blisters, so I picked these up today. They were on sale. 
Got some bananas the other day that were on sale, so of course they're already going bad, but that's okay because the chickens really like them and they're good for them. So we're gonna chop up some bananas for Miss Amber. We're gonna add some fresh strawberries into the mix. Too bad they're not the ones from my garden because they really do seem to prefer the ones that I grow versus store-bought. All right, now we've got some fresh fruits to give to Miss Amber and the other chickens. And this can go in our compost bowl. Now go out to the compost in a little while. All right, so just a few pieces of strawberry and banana to go along with her food that's a little wet, but she's not eating a whole lot. But hopefully she'll eat some of it. Oh, yes. What's that? What's that, pretty girl? Hmm? Her appetite's just not very good. You don't like it? I'm gonna try some bananas. Her needs a shower. Hers got some poop in her fur, fur, feathers. Huh? And some bananas. You don't like that either, girl. I don't know what's wrong with you. We gotta clean out her bedding today as well. As a little extra treat. This is not something I do all the time. In fact, I don't think I've ever given them sweets. But they're gonna get some raisin bread. Hi chickies. Hi chickies. Hi guys. What have we done in here? Knocking stuff to the ground, huh? Let me set it down. babies come get you some okay, I'm gonna be cleaning out a lot of this um, soil that's going to go in next year's garden I'm gonna be putting it sorry trying to do this while talking to you guys putting it in the garden to rest um, until next year and then it will be next year's garden soil and then I'll be bringing I got two big bags of fresh pine shavings to bring those in and start the whole process all over again buddy hey buddy so buddy was my injured chick um as you can see he's up and running around and doing just fine now i just hope that we can get amber back to good health because I still have, she's been sick for a week, sick, I guess, for a week. Um, I've talked to my mom, I've sent photos, um, I've tried different things that have been suggested, and she's not getting worse, but doesn't seem to be getting that much better either, so we're just going to keep trying. Mom said to try some vitamin E, so i got to find that so I can try it. Look what we've got growing over here in the corner. A whole flush of mushrooms. I wonder if the chickens have been trying some. Hmm. I keep... Okay, somebody... I don't know who or why, but the last couple days I come in here and the eggs are covered up in hay. Normally, there's a big nest made and the eggs are just sitting there. But the last two or three days, two or three days... I've come in and the eggs are actually buried down in the hay and I have to go Easter egg hunting. And then there's one of my hens that always lays down here. This one's still warm so she must have just laid it. And they're wanting more treats. <laughs> I just noticed this walking by. So this is a, a plastic tub that's filled with the, some of the dirt I took out of the chicken coop. Um, that's going to be, you know, the soil, compost, whatever for next year's garden. And I just put grass clippings on top to keep the moisture from leaching out while it's sitting out here. I can't move this. It's too heavy. I can't move it by myself. There's some corn popping up out of here. And look how healthy it looks. It looks really good. <laughs> that's funny. These things, they fit perfect. I love them like we got some ripening peppers out here. 
that one turned pretty much overnight. I picked some ripe datils yesterday. So next day I finally got around to getting this cleaned out. Not all of it. It's a lot harder harder than than I thought. And I've done it a little bit here and there and I keep forgetting how how difficult it actually is. But my boyfriend brought home this old wheelbarrow. Uh, this guy calls him when he has a bunch of scrap to come pick up and it didn't have a wheel on it and he had saved or a tire he had saved a tire from another wheelbarrow he had years ago that broke and so together we have a whole wheelbarrow so this is all the grass clippings in a pile here because they haven't broke down yet and this is two bags of the pine shavings. I'm going to let them spread out. But I took basically the top layer of all the poop. And I moved it over here into this pile. Not a huge pile, but it's a nice pile. And that will sit here until I have a place to put it in the garden. Just collected my last two eggs of the day. Aren't they pretty? And I went ahead and spread it out. So they were all outside. Um, every time I put new pine shavings in here, it smells like a brand new mobile home. And I actually really like it. You guys, I am leaving from my very first Azure Standard drop. <laughs> Placed the order, I went and picked it up this morning, and now I'm on my way to work, so I'll have to wait to show you guys what I got when I get home. I am really excited. You got I'm delivering right now. I'm really excited. Ricky and I, it's my boyfriend. Ricky and I have been talking about possibly getting a freeze right, freeze right, freeze dryer, um, specifically from Harvest Right because we sell them up at Ace and I've seen them all over YouTube. My favorite YouTubers all have them. And I just found out that you can put on their website, you can put them on layaway. You put $250 down to lock in your price and then you pay as much as you want whenever it, you want until it's paid off and there's 0% interest. I am so excited right now. Hi right, guys, I'm home. I've unpacked my things. Here we go. My first Azure order. I ordered some whole white wheat bread flour because I would really like to try making my own bread. I have no idea if I ordered the right stuff. It just said bread flour, so I thought it was good. I got a bag of active dry yeast, which apparently you need to make bread, or at least I think so. I got a big old jug of <laughs> honey. Uh, so this is 12 pounds of honey, and I paid $32 for this. I wanna show you why I decided to do this. One second. This is what I got last time. This is three pounds of honey and it cost $21. 12 pounds for $32. I think that's a better deal. And actually when I placed the order or when I thought I placed the order, that honey was $52 and I still thought it was a better deal. And so I thought I bought it at the price and I was fine with it and then I received an email notification the day of my cutoff saying that I had not completed my order. So I went back in to complete it and noticed that my order total had gone down and the price of my honey had dropped by $20. So that was a pretty awesome mistake I made there. And then the other thing that I got is in here. I got some sourdough starter. And I'm gonna have to learn exactly what to do with that and when. Try starting my own sourdough starter. I don't remember if it was earlier this year or last year sometime. I think it might have been earlier this year. And I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I wasn't doing something right. It didn't work out. So I'm hoping that I'll do better with this stuff. And I'm pretty excited. Tomorrow I'm off work, so I get to do all kinds of fun stuff. Also, Miss Amber is feeling well enough to get up, jump around, poop everywhere. So she went back out to the coop this morning before work when it was still dark and I was changing everybody's water out and putting new food in their um, feeders. 
I just stuck her out there in the little brooder area that I had made for Buddy when he was injured and uh, put some food and water in there for her and by the time I got home she had removed herself from there. There's a way for the little ones to get in and out but the big ones can't fit through. So she was out with, I would say with the rest of the flock she was hiding. <laughs> And she called to me as soon as I got there. So I gave her some love and attention and gave her some food in case she's too scared to go get the food while the big ones are out. She's got a little uh, <clears throat> okra and pepper harvest. And um, it's looking like there's going to be lots of bell peppers for me to harvest. Tomorrow I could take them tomorrow. They're big enough to eat. Or I can wait another couple days. I've got some jalapenos. I've got lots of details and I've just got lots of peppers which still makes me so happy. I'm not tired of them yet. <laughs> and editing Christy here again at the end of the video to tell you guys thank you so much for watching. I didn't have an end on this video because it was kind of just this run on video that was lasting several weeks and it's already long enough. So I figured I would just stop it where it's at and say thanks for hanging out with me you guys and I'll see you in the next one.